Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Genera J here. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update on our garden and I am also going to be talking a little bit about my giveaway. So as you can see, the chicken are out here right now in their little coop. We've been taking them out a few times a day just so they can get some of that energy out. They've been growing a lot. Um, they have wings now like that are, you see? And they're flying and stuff and going up the little chicken run. It's been amazing to see them grow. Like I remember when they first came in into our home like three weeks ago i was so paranoid because i wanted you know well and i want still my chicken to survive you know and after doing a lot of research i hear like oh it's very hard to um, keep baby chick alive but i guess it all go comes down to having the right temperature for them when they're indoors I meaning staying on top of like the heat lamp and the temperature but if you do decide to get chicks just know it is a lot of work but it's completely worth it um, I can't wait till they get a little bit bigger and start growing in more feathers like I've explained in my previous video they are Polish chicken so once they grow at the top, like they're gonna have a little fro. <laughs> I can see it already. And they're so active too, like, I can't believe it. That's a chick. Okay, so now on our garden update. We still have our tomatillos growing and coming in strong too. Like I am going to be making a whole bunch of salsa and gate con chile this summer because I have a whole bunch of tomatillos. It's crazy. And all of this, like I've explained in the previous video, it's this is my whole tomato area, which I want to call my tomato madness. I guess it's just crazy, but I'm excited to see how much we're actually going to get. These right here are the cherry tomatoes. Kiyomi really loves these.
This is our blueberry tree. I'm growing in. I see some right here. It's pretty cool. These are Nico's favorite right here. Right on this side, we still have some strawberries coming in. Um, not as many as earlier on in the spring, but we still get a few. Like I've mentioned, uh, this is Nico's highlight right here. <laughs> he loves to come back here and eat some strawberries. Right, this one right here, we have some. This one right here dried out. And then, look at our watermelon. This is one of the first ones that I've noticed um, growing and it's going. Really excited for this. We have some cucumber growing. This one's, this one's a little bit chunky. <laughs> All right, and um, you guys remember my sunflower, right? So it's been giving me like a new blossom every day. I really love it. Like there's usually a bumblebee here like all day. It's crazy. Look at those colors, they're so nice and vibrant. They still have more coming in. I've never had anything like this before. And I'm truly amazed. It's... Come out here and take a picture every day of the growth. Right over here, we have more blueberry. I think this is another blueberry and a pomegranate. So I got all these at Lowe's. If you go there, like go into the clearance section. Sometimes they have good stuff. I, I got all of these individuals for a dollar. When I seen it, I was like, oh my God, I could not believe it. Especially like I mentioned, Nico really loves blueberry and I love pomegranate so we do have a pomegranate tree over here still no pomegranates we ended up moving it and we might have stunned it but it's coming back so I'm really happy about that and right over here my husband helped me um, put this together the other day I wanted something like this so all these vines can come up and over and it'll be really easy for me to see what's growing and stuff like that. So we have melon right here, a cucumber which I'll probably be harvesting soon. Let's see what else we got. We have another melon. They're pretty heavy too. Um, what else where are we at? Let's see. Have another baby melon coming in right here. <laughs> it's so cute, like watching this process. Like, having them grow like that little into like something like this. And I know they're only gonna get much bigger, so really excited for that. And now in here, we have another melon right in there. <laughs> Tomatoes and more tomatillos. This is my Roma tomato plant. This one's ready to harvest, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. 
right now. I also have some cherry tomatoes that are ready. Let's see. Here, my Kiyomi loves them. I think I see one more. Where are we? Right here. Our corn, all the stalks of corn. Right on this side, we have our yellow bell pepper. Same as green pepper. I like to put them on every dish. And um, when we grill, you know, just dice them up, put them in skewers. Like they're really good. Have another watermelon here. And my kale, which is still growing strong. I really love this for my smoothies. Just come out here and clean it out. Here are my watermelon, sunflowers. They're, they're all taking off and growing at a good rate, I think. And my cilantro, like, I'm surprised this is growing right now and I can't believe it. Be good for salads. Right over here, we have our mint. It's just getting a little bit out of control. It's been growing a lot lately. Like, look at those roots. So well, I might have to move it and just put it in a separate pot because those roots, man, when I, I cleaned it out the other day, they were coming all the way down here and I was just like, oh no. <laughs> I don't want it to take over all my area over here. I got this rosemary at Lowe's as well. It was $1. Um, smells really good. Right over here, we have all our sweet corn. Look at all those stalks. And now we also have a sunflower going back here. These are our potatoes. Almost ready to harvest as well. You can tell by the leaves. They're starting to die out a bit. And right in the center, we have a carrot. This is how the flower carrots looks like. See how that goes. Here at the bottom we have our pumpkin growing. See? This right here is more potatoes. Again, the leaves are starting to die out. Almost ready to have this as well. Potatoes. Oh, more potatoes here. You can actually see them. Yeah. They're red potatoes. Right over here we have our blackberries. I've tried them. We got this plant from Home Depot. They're <sighs> sorry, had a bug on me. Um they're really sweet. Can't believe it. And my husband's been training it to go along the fence. Now that we're here, I know I've seen some the other day. Go ahead and harvest. Pull them off. I'm gonna go ahead and save these for Nico.
have our raspberries. We haven't been getting any um, lately, but it's okay. It's still growing. The same, I just come back here and when I clean out my plants, just take out all these dead leaves, pull them out, clear them. And again, my husband's also training this raspberry to go and connect with uh, the blackberry over there. I think he might be training it to go on this side too. Harvested one, and apparently, I thought they were all green beans, but no, they're uh, the different kind of beans that we planted. So, these I know that they're Peruvian, it's crazy. I've never, this is my first um, year growing beans, so I've never seen anything like this, and it's pretty cool. So, let me try to open this one. Sorry, I'm trying to do it with one hand here. So the camera. You see that? Oh. This is pretty awesome, I think. Like, grow your own beans. It's really easy too. The way we we sprouted these is by leaving them soaking. Then they end up popping and we just put them into like an eggshell or a little pot, water it, and it'll eventually come and grow. So put it in peas. And more coming in too. Now right over here we have our star jasmine tree as well as this whole <laughs> bunch of tomato over here. Now I've been training this tomato to come up the fence, just making it like a wall. I have another jasmine tree and another tomato. <laughs> This right here is a little project that I made with the kids. Um, you know, when my husband was building um, our garden area, he had a lot of um, like lumber, leftover lumber, and I seen these, they were shaped as triangles. So the other night, um, I decided to paint these with the kids. Really fun activity, gun inexpensive, off of the stuff we already had. And right over here, I have um, two sunflowers drying. What I plan to do with these, once it's... I'm gonna get another few of these. They've been out here for a week in this heat. So what you can do, if you have sunflowers, you just take off these seeds and reuse them. Use them again. Um, we're planning to take all of these out and putting them all over on this end over here. If you've been thinking about starting your garden, I have the perfect giveaway for you, which I announced on my Instagram over the weekend. I wanna go over a little bit of what I will be giving away. I'm giving out a greenhouse that holds up to 72 plants. I think that's a pretty good amount. You get the most out of this greenhouse. And I also am going to be giving you seeds, spinach, kale, lettuce, cucumber, 
summer squash, lavender, rosemary, zinnia, sunflower, and a hummingbird feeder. Now, there is still a few days to enter my giveaway. I will link my Instagram on the description below. I also wanted to add that my giveaway is not associated with Instagram. It is fully sponsored and paid for by me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I appreciate all your support. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you. I will see you guys on the next video.